Hey, it's Is This Thing On with Stacey Anderson, Will Loden, Steve Cantwell. I'm your host, Slade Ham. In the middle of the episode, a prompt you can play along with yourself. That's right, answer it in the comments and see if you win. It's Is This Thing On. It starts now. Welcome to Is This Thing On. Uh, it is so exciting to be here. We have got an incredible cast, our third episode of All Stars. I am Slade Ham, your host. Uh, back of house, Jerry Wayne Longmire, Trey Tutson, uh, both responsible for producing the show, as you will come to see in the prompts and uh, as, as the show cuts back and forth. I've, I'm joined by Will Loden, Stacey Anderson, Steve Cantwell, uh, all former contestants on the show. There's nothing to win here, but you're going to compete nonetheless. Uh, I raise a glass Whiskey Brothers style to all of you. Cheers. Uh, I'm the only one with a drink. So mm -hmm. oh, yeah. let's get into it. Are, uh, are you guys watching the Olympics? Are you? It is. We are in the middle of the Winter Olympics. I feel like we were just in the middle of the Summer Olympics. That was just a moment ago because we did an Olympic prompt on this show. Yes. And this show is new. So. I'm a little off. I haven't been paying attention, but I am curious, uh, one, as to whether or not you guys have really been into particular portions of it, and two, if you were going to compete, maybe what your what your angle would have been. Uh, let's go. Stacey, you got a look on your face. Let's start with you. Oh, uh, man. Okay, so I've only watched when I go to the gym for like, mm -hmm. yeah, 30 Inspiration. minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. It's just something on it. Yeah. If those Jamaican bobsledders can do it, I can do it. Well, I'll be working it out, and I was like, what would I be? Like, I could really be on... In the Olympics, I would be like a professional Lysol sprayer like, <laughs> off the chain because they got some issues going on. People stuck in these little like <laughs> I think quarantine houses. So yeah. I would I would be like I would be strong. Oh, you mean like in the dorms and in them stuff? Dorms okay, I got. Yeah. I thought you I would meant spray the shit out hitting those parallel bars like All a strip club. I would spray everything. I'm <laughs> everywhere you, you want to be. I could spray in three different directions. I learned teach my foot how to spray a can. Uh. I can <laughs> one foot and just be north east. And west, uh, no northeast, no. Yeah, you'll be like northeast and west. I can't do all four because I gotta stand on one. One of, one of you has to be, yeah. That's a, but one day, no, one day you'll eventually get it. You'll get that little butt hop, and that's you'll have true. both feet up in the air like a juggler. Oh my god! You know those guys who spin the plates in certain so lay or something. We need it. Yeah. I'll, 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 and it's a, it, I'd be the only one in the, you know, it's like it's that's very a strong, competitive, and that's very altruistic of you. I mean, can you no. see it? That's a, you're doing this for the for the performer. I understand, man, Stacy, you are too altruistic. Yeah. Will Loden. Uh, so I have a couple of, uh, I think, things that I could compete in. Uh, one would definitely be the vodka luge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what, what is a vodka luge? Uh, it's usually an ice sculpture where they pour vodka down and you chug it. I don't know if that's in the Olympics <laughs> yet, but I'm pushing for it. Uh, another thing that I think I'd be really good at is the biathlon, uh, which is where you do cross-country skiing and then do shooting events. But <laughs> during the shooting event, I would only shoot guys who were wearing cargo shorts and flip-flops in the winter <laughs> saying it's not cold. Um, <laughs> And I would I would murder them. <laughs> uh, and then Will, you're going. Then the last thing that I think I would be really good at uh, are alpine racial slurs uh, <laughs> where where I just like, you know, you just get to make fun of alpine countries like you can call Denmark white Wakanda uh, or like uh -huh. Norway. You can call Norway and Sweden kissing cousins or things like that. I see. Because yeah. they're still safe to make fun of. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> Them and the Russians. You're Them allowed to make Ruskies. fun of the Russians. Russians are <laughs> Russians will never go out of style. No. I feel like as long as you just you can vodka vodka bear. <laughs> as long as there's a Rocky movie, you can make fun of Russians. There you are. They're, they're safe. They're very safe to make fun of. Congratulations on the Alpine oh, racial. Uh, <laughs> I would watch that. Your, watch your Alpine racial medal. What uh, is he? He's Estonian. You can tell he's Estonian because of his forehead. There you <laughs> Fun with moose and squirrel. <laughs> uh, you can tell she's Swiss because you can see her blood underneath her skin. <laughs> exactly. Steve, what are you watching? Are you are you into it at all? I'm I, I try to get into it for about a half a second, but I just figured out that I can't. You know, the only the only the only real event because the, the Olympics is a eugenics experience. I Wait, mean, <laughs> eugenics? What? They're just they're just getting the elite athletes of the world together in one you know fancy village, mm -hmm. and just you know for two weeks they see if they can get them to fuck together. <laughs> 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 so that's what it's all about. That's the only event that's in, bo in both Winter and Summer Olympics. <laughs> this is the nations of the world yep. bringing better genes back go. to their nation. Competitive yeah. fucking. Yeah, exactly. Wow. That's how we beige the world. 
breeding. Well, <laughs> it's that's a breeding ground. Yeah. I mean, well, not in winter. There's not it too is many a breeding browns. ground. Oh no, there's not too many brownies out there. And the right. ca- yeah, you <laughs> hear stories about well, the, like uh, fucking crazy. Uh, an American speed sk- skater. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black she speed skater. She only can do so yeah. much, guys. Yeah, y'all need some some brown no. penises out there. I don't think y'all got those. You need all of everything. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of. How does that? So how does that? Do you do you have a quota you have to hit? Do you have to <laughs> impregnate so many people and then come back with so many impregnated? Like what is the? I think they just shut the lights off at 10 o'clock and just, <laughs> the door open. you know, nine months later, you got a whole new crop of super children <laughs> loose in the world. More it's competitive. Movies. And you hear stories that like that, that leak out of those Olympic villages right. of yeah. these crazy orgies and people that just, oh the I, orgies, well, I mean, they okay, so these crazy people have been training their entire lives for this. They're in yeah. peak physical condition. Yes. Like, I do want to see an Azerbaijani Senegalese shot putter yeah. at some point. <laughs> Jesus, co- wait, say that again. Uh, <laughs> 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 I was thinking two, two, yeah. uh, a Russian Kenyan. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thank exactly. You, that was lost. Yeah. I was like, a what? Yeah. Uh, Coaches too. Right I heard a story about a team <laughs> doctor that fucked every girl on the Olympics team. That one. Yeah. Oh, was that in the news or something? Hail Sparty. <laughs> Michigan State. There's a lot of there. There's a lot of pressure out there to go out and perform, and then they get they put you in because they 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 make us believe that they take these athletes and they put them up in great accommodations and everything's wonderful. But you hear story after story, year after year, of these these Olympic villages that are somewhat third world nations of their own, and then they're feeding them the same food every day, like That's they're in where prison. I come in. Lysol. It's uh, with the Lysol. With the Lysol. <laughs> <laughs> Make it better because I heard about this terrible. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Can we get? Does no one want a chef for these people? Everyone's eating oodles and noodles. Oodles of noodle. They're yeah. just ra- ramen. ramen. Not yeah. even. Not even wet. Not they got it. Ha- have you ever eaten like unsoaked ramen, just I w- dry? I want you to look at my 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 fat face. Okay. It says you've eaten again. everything. Yeah, it says you've. <laughs> <laughs> Said you've at least tried it yeah, out of uh, curiosity because uh, 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 <laughs> it's quicker. no. I've never been drunk at one o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon. No, but not not just not just ramen. Ramen like with raw with, ramen, w- like raw ramen, like right out of the packet, no yeah. water. Yeah, oh my yeah, yeah. yeah I call that a crispy treat. Yes, like a, like a power bar. Yeah, because <laughs> that's what it is. That's if you're hiking or something. You don't have to make it. You oh just <laughs> right, yeah. and it's not awful. That, believe it not? or not. Oh no. my gosh, right. I thought y'all were. We're gonna do this oh. after the show. We're, Stop. Uh, there's I definitely 100 percent emergency drink ramen to it here. And watch it. It's going down, guys. It's a brand new Olympic event. Can you finish? This ramen, the lump in his throat right now, and it's like cat claws coming up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's get to know y'all. Y'all want to do that? Uh, yeah. Shall we introduce yourself? I'm going to start with you, Will. You're across the table from me. All right. What's going on? Name's Will Loden. Uh, do stand up comedy. I started in Memphis. I was just on uh, uh, another podcast where a bunch of people roasted me on the internet. So I'm just going to read those. You look like. So, uh, I was on- <laughs> I was on I was on Kill Tony episode 543. Oh boy, uh, can you repeat half yeah, of them? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and I didn't want to write these. Wow, uh, how many different did. ways did he call you Chinese? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you look like all the other Bigfoots call you faggot. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> you look like Eddie Cheddar. Uh, <laughs> you look like, you like think the for Pearl Ham. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm better than they are. Exactly. Carry on. You look like the Count of Monte Cristo sandwiches. Uh, <laughs> ah, wrong. It sounds like you count Monte Cristo yeah, yeah, sandwiches. Like Monte Cristo. The man with the Seven. iron flask. Yeah. The man Eight. With the iron flask. <laughs> there you go. And the last one is you look like Michelob Foley. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah. Man which kind. Yeah. All right. I can do this all day. <laughs> Goodwill loading a friend of the show. Uh, yeah. You'll be able to catch him later this year on uh, Silly Hats on the Whiskey Brothers Podcast Network along with Nick Palermo. Stacy, you're across uh, from me as well. Let's stay on that camera. Uh, yeah. Tell these folks who you are. Hey, y'all. I'm comedian Stacy Anderson. I'm a wealthy black melanated sister who lives in a mansion. I have a couple yes. properties all across this wonderful world. Yes. Woo. And uh, that's a lie. So, yeah, that's a little <laughs> bit about myself. <laughs> I still celebrate it because it's February. I celebrate it. Okay. I celebrate well, generally. Generational wealth because I'm black, melanated. <laughs> I'm a mother 
of a child who's better at internet and everything than I am. And he wrote these jokes for me. He said, uh, <laughs> you look like uh, if Garfield and Sinbad were to procreate. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, F you. Uh, <laughs> I was like, is it the eyes? Damn, you know? that's ass. That's, I know. I mean, no, I had nothing like that My at all. My son that's is six. I'm like, how do you know Sinbad? <laughs> Your you son's know? an asshole. He is. Oh my God! And he said, "Mommy, I want a shirt just like yours with my face and a chef hat on it." I was like, "Ponytail, bro! It's not no damn chef hat." But now that I see it, you look. Like, you want to eat, eat it? it? I know. It looks like you haven't completed your thought yet. It's That's really what it is. Looks like you're having brown. Looks thoughts. like you're about to say something. I gotta push my tits back so I can see. You're right. I'm in deep in thought. I'm deep in thought. So it's yeah. an unfilled thought bubble. It's not. It's not filled at all. I like your son. He's killing on the show He's so far. He's killing. I was on the bring him, but you know, <laughs> he can't take my shine. That's <laughs> uh, well, we're going to come back for your You Look Like in a second and uh, some other punches. Steve, uh, introduce yourself. I am the uh, original bearded thumb of the Houston comedy scene. <laughs> All others that came after me are imitations. <laughs> the bearded thumb. That's hilarious. Yeah. I look like if Mr. Potato Head was a yam. <laughs> <laughs> Just like my eyes are a little too close together. God's like, eh, should we give him a hypothalamus? Nah, let's just make it so he can read real good in the dark. You know, <laughs> put his eyes a little too close. <laughs> Strong welcome to the show. It's good to have you here. Will, what do you look like? Uh, I think I already knocked all those you out. You do them all? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, burned I did, everything? I, did, I burnt most of those. Uh, you know, like, yeah, I, I look like I put on glasses to eat pussy. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's, you that's know. There you go. You can stop right you gotta there. Find it. That's uh, you anybody gotta find with it. any other punches about themselves while I do this shot. Take that shot. I'm not into personal pain. Sorry. I, I think I oh. was damn good. How did you get into comedy? <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Other there's people's a, There's pain. a back door. <laughs> there is. There's a, there's a side door. Okay. Yes. You can't. Side, side piece door. Side you piece door. Side piece the comic. There He's from go. Memphis. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> know. Uh, Will and them started together. Mm -hmm. oh my. So, uh, <laughs> welcome everybody in the chat. I want to say what's up. Uh, some of you guys in the uh, Twitch, we love you. Um, there, yeah, I do love yams. That's an old. That's an old. Um, an old story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ruined now by Steve's impression. So Steve's I'm not sure where I sit with uh, yams exactly. We have a segment on uh, online. You guys can participate in as audience members. Uh, frequently, we do segments like notes or excuses or some of the fastball punchline related jokes, and we let the audience play along. So, last week the the segment was notes, and the the prompt was, and if you guys have one you want to throw in there, you're welcome to join. The prompt was: you go to your mailbox, mm -mm. and there are a bunch of wrenches inside, along with a note that says. Uh, and if you have a punchline, throw it in. From the audience, uh, Steve Holden says in the comments, uh, the note says, Trey, you better fix your shit. Uh, <laughs> he just cringed backstage. Uh, Jerry is now massaging his shoulders. Um, they're such a cute couple. Follow them on TikTok. Uh, any other punchlines for that? If you don't have any, we will give them next week's. Uh, next week says that it's this is excuses. You You walk outside. And uh, you're, uh, how, how does this go? You've removed a bunch of boards from your neighbor's fence, oh. and your neighbor wants to know why. They catch you removing the boards from your fence, and your excuse is, bah. Uh, we'll see what they say in the comments. Uh, I'm <laughs> building a seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy ringing in early. That's if it. no one else answers, that will be next That's week. Mine would answer. be, well, you didn't use the glory hole, so take a <laughs> hand. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> the lack of pants you're wearing in this prompt. Uh, <laughs> ring in in the comments. It's your chance to play along. You could make it on the next episode. We'll probably give you something. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> segment three. Hi, my name is. It's a brand new segment. Uh, I believe this is Jerry Wayne's, right? Who do I blame oh. if it doesn't work? Okay, that's all I need to know. <laughs> uh, we have placed you guys in a rehab facility. Uh, for addiction, we're forcing you to go to weekly meetings, and the problem is you guys have such rare conditions that there's no one else in your group. So we have grouped you together for this session. Uh, your job is to introduce yourself and uh, tell us, well, you're going to have to explain your addiction. Uh, Will, what is your addiction? I'm not starting with you. I'm starting with Steve. You've gotten to go last every single time. Steve, I'm starting with you. 
what is your addiction? And uh, tell us. Hi. Hi, my name is Steve Cantwell, and I'm a knee fucker. <laughs> Wait, a knee f- <laughs> Wow, that's specific. You're addicted to knees. I'm addicted to knees. Well, tell us all about it. I grew up Mormon, and I had no idea what a <laughs> vagina looked like. Oh. So when I would masturbate, I would imagine girls' knees. <laughs> That was the friction place. That was just, you know, that was just like the sexy crease of the only one that I was allowed to see. Everything else was just a mystery to me. I couldn't make heads or tails of the tampon directions, but so I had <laughs> no idea what was going on down there. So I would just, uh, I would imagine fucking knees. Nice. And that once you, the whatever you start with, that just stays. And there's and it's completely unsupported in Pornhub too. There's nothing. There's, <laughs> there are no knee fuck. You put a knee fucker in Pornhub and no, nothing comes up. Not a single thing. Oh, Not yeah. a single. That's thing. that's interesting. You went. You skipped right over armpits. Yeah. You went. You went straight down. That's fascinating. That's yeah. a well. Well, welcome they to smell better. Welcome to group. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you here. Uh, <laughs> we can solve your problem, Stacy. I just want to knee him real quick. <laughs> Think of, like, I would love that. I, I would love that. You <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> how does that work if you get kneed in the balls? How it does the is it, a, it does it cancel itself out? Like if we all nuke each other? It depends on when in the uh, <laughs> evening. Sometimes it's good to finish with a good knee in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> like when all the fireworks go off at once. You know? Eat out your butt. Yeah. <laughs> out of everything, right out my ears. Pleasure and pain combined. Cry it out of my pituitary gland. What sort of weird fan fiction did you just know. finish? Y'all take me where I come here and I just go dark. That's as long as I can understand what y'all say. You know, I can go there. Like I feel free here. No, it's a safe space. It, it just is. sounds like we're going to have to go to the cleaners. <laughs> He will. <laughs> who sure. was up? Was it you, Stacy? Was it you or Will? Um, were you up? Who's, oh, who's, well, who's doing this? Show? Okay, he's going to go last. Okay. Yes, Stacy. So welcome high, welcome so. to group therapy. Thank Hi. You. Hi, I'm Stacy Anderson, and I'm a fanaholic. Fanaholic? Yes. Okay. Um, um, it started when I was 11 years old. Uh, my mom straightened my hair, and it was summertime, and we went shopping to go get an air conditioner. And when we walked in, they had a, the store had a bunch of fans, you know, to encourage you to buy it. And when I walked by, my hair got caught by three different fans. Whoa. And just, and just caught my hair and knotted it all up. And, you know, I had to get my hair cut off and all that stuff. Whoa. And I was afraid of fans for a while. But I was like, F that, man. I'm not going to let this beat me. You know, and I started buying a bunch of fans, you know, whatever, all my checks. I would just buy a bunch of fans, and it got dark for me. Like, every fan I liked oscillating, you know. Right. Uh, blow dryer fans, uh, car fans. I didn't care. Any fan, anything that. Which mm. are the ones that change your voice? Uh, th- th- I love that one. That's oh. how I started my singing. Oh, oh, wow, 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 and I am wow, telling wow, you. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, you already know. Human See, didgeridoo. You got the same thing. And then it got bad when I started selling my ass, you know. Like, <laughs> that took it. That, that escalated I know quickly. It did because I ran out of money, man. <laughs> I, it, I ran out of money and I needed to go to like these antique fan shows. They have them all across oh. the United States and I needed to get there. And this is before they had the Uber. So I feel you. And this is like you've already done all. You got all the modern Dysons. You're you're decked out. You walk everywhere you go. Your hair is blowing. That's you need it. to. Yeah, you're trying to get back to your, the roots no where the where the where the fans Literally came from. The roots. Mm-hmm. I feel that's you. It. Damn. It's dark out this there. This did man. get dark. It did. So this brave. is that's. It's funny. My my friend Sam Damaris, who I we all him. know, a uh, Houston comic, uh, very long uh, dreadlocks Luscious of his own. Locks. We went out. We were in Egypt, uh, and uh, it's he's. They like him there. Mm. He's very uh, popular in a particular region. And a lot of uh, fans grabbed his hair and were pulling it multiple different ways. Uh, It was very awkward. So there's some empathy there. And then he came back and was on Instagram and working through a particular program and then was buying a bunch of fans, uh, which is so weird. Um, weird. Yeah, different types of fans. I mean, fans is fans is fans. It's it's, it's an addiction. It comes in all forms. All, literally. Will, why are you here? You're just just staring at our pain? So first off, uh, I'm here because I'm court ordered, all right? Okay. Um, (laughs) All right. uh, I wrap wrap my car around a pole with three Serta pillows and, and a <laughs> snuggie. Sorry, I'm a sleepaholic. Well, um, <laughs> you know, it's 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 a progressive disease that affects all <laughs> races, creeds, and socioeconomic. Look, all right, our friends to the south call them siestas. You know, <laughs> uh, black folks call it the itis. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, uh, them 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 rich boys up in Washington have them fainting uh, couches. So this is a disease that affects everyone around the world. Um, 
And, you know, I knew I was different as a kid because a lot of kids, they, they didn't like nap time. And, and I loved nap time so much. Uh, so, you know, like, like the way, like, like the first, the first step in any 12 step program is admit, admit that your life has become unmanageable. And I, I, I started experimenting with cat naps when I was young. Uh, and that, that progressed into a four hour, four hour split, uh, of sleep. And, you know, then, then one day, you know, I, I was dating a really boring lady because it would help me fall asleep whenever. Because oh, she would, yeah, she would talk move. about, yeah, and, and you know, so I've I've ruined relationships with my family and my friends, uh, with 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 my napping, <laughs> and um, does it interrupt meals and stuff? Yeah, I mean, it, it's in, it's interrupted meals. Uh, it's interrupted. It's interrupted sex. Oh. Uh, you know, it's in, it, what, what, what my happens? Ex, my ex-wife, uh, I, I, my favorite place to fall asleep is when I'm peeing. Uh, my, my ex-wife would call me Rip Van Tinkle. Oh, and, uh, are you still a stander? <laughs> I hate you. I hate you for that. <laughs> Where do you go? Uh, shit, I broke character. <laughs> but anyway, if I, could, if I could just, if I could just get you to sign this paperwork halfway through the meeting so I can get back out of here. Uh, yeah, so I'm a I'm a sleepaholic. It's a, I will as soon as you clean up the pee off the floor. Uh, you have to be still a stander. Yeah. He was like thinking about the knees. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, napping is a pretty benign thing for somebody to cop to when they look like they strangle nurses in Galveston. <laughs> Like, oh, that's your problem? That's your issue. <laughs> they court ordered you to be here and they have you shackled to the table because you take naps. I'm that's on 9,000 milligrams of B12 a yeah. day. I don't think this counts as step one. <laughs> Eight 12 hour energy drinks. <laughs> Whichever that one is where you got to talk to all the people you wronged is going to take about four <laughs> the, the, the years. The seventh step? The seventh step? <laughs> Retribution isn't <laughs> one of them. Really but like anyway, I'm 36 hours away from my last sleep, so things are getting kind of <laughs> weird. Job, yeah. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I, I <laughs> Hide your I nurses. Have, have you guys here. <laughs> I, hope, I hope this helps. <laughs> That is crazy. Uh, two more I really segments to go. I really napping as a kid. That had me right there. I used to hate those kids that would sleep. They all oh, was uh, you. Without turning you. the lights off or anything. Like, dude, bro, dude, you just psychos. ate the graham cracker and you just went down no like that? On that plastic. On, the, on that, that one little sheet of gymnastics. No, the yeah. prison cot. That's, yeah. That, that, yes. that, that, that is literally yeah, but you don't know that then. The prison no. pipeline. You, like, you yeah. don't know that then. Yeah. Mattress prison. prison. Yeah, it's preconditioning yeah. you to pick between exactly. the juice box yeah. and the mattress. There you go. Oh, you can fall asleep on a, on, a, on, a, on an inch foam mattress yeah. with fluorescent lighting. You're going to jail. What You're they going. don't tell you. What, the, what they don't tell you back then. <laughs> <laughs> what they don't tell you back then is that if you're a trustee, you can get both. It's very, it's all in your behavior. Oh uh, <laughs> learning things on is this thing on. Uh, hi to everyone in the chat one more time. Uh, we appreciate you, whether you're following along on Facebook or Instagram or uh, wherever we are on YouTube. And now I think Twitch and tw ah, fuck it. We're somewhere. I think <laughs> Facebook tonight. Who knows? Metaverse. We're it out is there. the metaverse. <laughs> uh, and in this metaverse, we are not alone. That's segment four. Also, a brand new segment. You three are recipients of segments we have never done before. Jerry, was this one you too? Oh, you. Too. We are not alone. Yeah. This is uh, this is a, this this is a Jerry prompt. Uh, you're one for one tonight. You have aced the previous prompt. It succeeded. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yes. I'm going to start with him because he thinks he's Please. the most uncertain of the group. Uh, here is the prompt. I'm never telling you anything ever. You're on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how are you feeling about this, Will? I don't know. I'm a little worried about segment four. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with him. It's not, no, I'm kidding. It's everyone, everyone, everyone. Oh, no, no, no it's, it, it makes sense with the rotation. Everyone is uh, uh, in on this prompt. You guys are on a road trip. It's late one night. Uh, a brilliant flash rips across the sky. We're all road comics. Many of us, uh, <laughs> for many years, listen to Coast to Coast AM. Yes. The yep. only thing available on the late night radio waves before there was, before there was Spotify oh, or still, internet. I still choose to listen to it. It's Listen, George Norrie and Art Bell got me through more cross-country trips to L.A. and to, to New Mexico. And as you're driving through these dark, do you not know I this show? Clue, no. Coast to Coast AM was a, 
they would it was a talk show that only aired late at night yeah. and they would entertain the craziest of theories people mm-hmm. would call in and go well i saw a chupacabra yeah. in my backyard last night and the host would not go well that's crazy he would go well that happens a lot yeah. what? <laughs> tell us more now here's our chupacabra expert and yeah, <laughs> we've brought in someone who uh oh, yeah. has caught three chupacabras he says he's an expert but really he's a scrap metal specialist yeah he also know, in his yeah. in his spare time he's a tow truck driver yeah. but he's yeah. and I, I i've i've done some there's some cryptozoological conversation yeah. in my history where i've been out with some of the people from national geographic that have taken like led some of these bigfoot tours so i'm i'm intrigued by it but like super skeptically like uh-huh. i want to go out i want you to prove me wrong like right. show me a monster but also i don't believe there's monsters right so that show was fascinating because it opened up Sounds a segment crazy. of the world to me where i was like oh they're telling me these crazy stories i don't believe them but i'm listening to a guy who's willing to humor it more than i would right because yeah, i just shut all these people down and he's like tell me more uh so i'm encouraging you guys to create your own to stories you here more. you okay. have been driving across country a flash rips across the sky something lands close to the freeway because we're not going to make you walk for a joke uh <laughs> and you find a body an alien body inside a spacecraft uh just as it dies it gives to you a, a gift and whispers something in your ear maybe it's a whisper maybe it's their language i don't know we're making this up uh Go, Stacy. Oh, shit. I know. Look, you're lucky. See what I did? Yeah, I see, see what that. I did? This is all about my amusement. This so, is not for you guys. This is for me. All for your amusement. Um, <laughs> I can't wait to hear I what feel y'all got to say, because this one, Jerry, <laughs> fuck the bitch <laughs> up, okay? Boy, she went Newman on this you. This totally fucked the bitch up. So, all right, so I walk over there, and I'm just nervous, you know, because I'm. we don't do this. You know, I'm br- br- melanated. We don't do no shit. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Some <laughs> sort of This prompt <laughs> violates every rule. Every rule. Oh. <laughs> I am so out of the box right now. <laughs> so I go up to this little alien, and I look at it. And it pulls me closer, and with its halitosis breath, it's some hot ass breath up there, wherever they from. Uh oh. <sighs> the Earth is flat. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said what? <laughs> said more. Said more. Said God is black. I said what? <laughs> Shut up. And the last thing it said is your, your humanity is doing it wrong. And I said what? And he gave me this vow. I think it was he. I don't know. Uh-oh. Breath was hot. I ain't never smelled a woman's breath smell like that. He gave me this vow. <laughs> oh, a vow. A vow. Oh, vow. Vow. Thank you. I'm from vow. Brooklyn. Gave me this vow. <laughs> I thought you got married. A e i o u. Gave me a vow. Like what is she reaching for? Uh, yeah. V o w. Dearly <laughs> beloved, we have landed here today. Take this and drip it into all the planet's water supply. I said, why is like, hey, man, he's doing the wrong. Y'all are deformed. Your ass is supposed to be in the front. Satan <laughs> did that shit when he fell from heaven. I said, what? And then it died. What? Yeah. Right before you found out the secret to FUBA? Man. <laughs> Not- <laughs> The front the upper booty area? Yeah, no, you got to flip that bitch. FUBA. Oh, the front FUBA. upper booty area. Oh, we trying to... Sw- it's going to be in the front front. Oh, my. Show me the water supply for here. Here you go. That's you put a little. Have a yeah. put nice a little. Ass. Did you put lipstick in all of our drinks? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're telling us? Is your ass growing in the front? <laughs> How you looking? He's ra- he's, he's six inches higher than he was at, at the beginning of the show. Just push yourself back from Thanks. the table. That ass is sitting Stacey, pretty. Stacey, I, I volunteer you for Independence Day, too. Uh, <laughs> shouts out, hey, to uh, everybody watching, lots of people online. Uh, the original, it's kind of cool, Bill Miller, uh, one of the founding members of the Whiskey Brothers, the founding member of the Whiskey Brothers, along with the right Reverend Robert L. Mungle, uh, mm. started this whole thing uh, that we now are carrying on. That was two th- that was 98. We're pushing, tw- I don't even know, how. what is the math on that? Whoa, yeah. 20, 22 oh, years. Almost 25 yeah. years yeah. of Whiskey yeah. Brothers. Um, Bill Miller, a huge part of that. Uh, expect to hear his voice on the intro after the uh, episode 1000. We're barreling towards 1000. That will happen sometime the week of, what are we talk about? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, somewhere the end of that week. Uh, stay tuned. We're on 990 something. So Ooh, it's, it's very, very up. soon. We're going to do a big live extravaganza uh will all right so i'm uh i'm returning from a gig because here's what you don't know about me i'm good enough to get booked in cool places but not in the right time so like i Wait, can go okay. i can go to south padre texas in february <laughs> you know like they'll, they'll book me in chicago in january but uh, you know like yeah. I'm, I, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah you never get saint patty's day when the river's no, green no 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah exactly uh, and so I'm 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 driving back from uh, 
Brownsville, and I see this this streak over the sky. Uh, yeah, I go, oh wow, uh, that's crazy. And then I pull over to pee because I'm drinking and driving. Uh, and, <laughs> that's just, and, uh, and I get out and I see I see this alien. I walk up to him and. I, I, once again, I don't know if it's a he or a she. I don't know really. So know hard to, to tell. I don't really know it how to is. gender uh, an alien, and I don't want to judge like that. You cry. definitely but don't want to guess. Uh, yeah, but I, they've I, been doing I, this I, way longer than us. Right. Mm-hmm. I come up. I come up to him. I see the sort of alien technology that he has. I'm like, wow, this is fascinating. And he touches my face, and and in his language, he goes, <gasps> and I feel this. Wait, wait one more time. <laughs> yeah, that's I want to make sure. <laughs> Sound like, uh, you said <laughs> <laughs> Sound like you said the other thing for a second. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you put lipstick uh, in our drinks. <laughs> <laughs> As he touches my face, I feel this this warmth, this all knowing, all encompassing warmth, and and I start scavenging his his because like I I want to take his shit. Well, of uh, course, yeah, yeah, oh. and, yeah. And, and you're not Stacy, right? No. Right, and I, I he he translate his his alien language into my brain, and he, with his dying breath he says, um, "Here are five tricks to make your dick bigger without surgery." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I, well, here's the thing: you're gonna have to give us all five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stretch it. Uh, <laughs> go overhand like you're throwing dice. Uh, bat it around a little bit. Uh, eat that's a three. lot of fiber. That's four. Whoa. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's just a trick to make your gut smaller. That's not. That's cheating. It's all optical You're gaining illusion. an inch. That's we're doing. We're doing. We're doing. We're doing hot girl Instagram pics on this. <laughs> day. Wear a smaller watch to make <laughs> your hand look bigger. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> I didn't think you had him. Yeah. <laughs> well done. I would have punted and gone with car warranty, but you fucking, <laughs> you did it and brought a list. <laughs> I'm impressed. Like the, I'm still going with the, what is the over, overhand? Overhand, like throwing dice. That's that's, a, that's how I've you show it. Yeah. Trey, have you thrown dice that way or do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Trey? <laughs> Not <laughs> <laughs> you can trick it. You can trick yourself. Trey just threw it like he's a second you can grade tri- softballer. He threw it like he just it was like, a fireball. Me. I gotta get like he's playing yeah. hot potato. I've uh, never thrown. Trey dice. threw it like he like just, his neighbor threw, threw a it. firework in yeah, his yard. Like, <laughs> he, <laughs> uh, get it out of here. My dad's gonna kill like, me. Yeah. yeah, no, I've never thrown it like that. Yeah. Oh, every time. <laughs> every time. It's what is this show if not educational? I am <laughs> taking notes. Could you write that down? You know what I mean? Steve, hey man, uh you also witnessed this miracle. Listen, I grew up when I, when I started listening to Coast to Coast AM, I believed in witches. So I was oh. I was literally afraid of the dark. So I thought my underwear were magic. <laughs> you know? Were you actually Mormon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I was a Mormon real. preacher, was... like like a serious. So Mormon. you do you do come from the magic underwear? Yeah, for yeah. real. Yeah. Oh. Shut up. Yeah. So w- and, that, and so magic. when you I don't know about the magic underwear. Oh my god. Episode six. It's literally the best episode we've ever done. Well, uh, I'll send yeah. it to you. It oh explains my everything. Yeah. My fam- seven generations more, but my family like was in it when they started that shit. So I fucked yeah, up. Yeah, you were like an, the, you're like you're I'm like yeah, like Illinois Illinois Mormon. Like y'all y'all came all the way over. With, like we were in the wagon train. Yeah, yeah like with up. with with Jay Smith and the boys. He, well, he a, got killed. Well, he got he got got. He has a salamander. He has a salamander tattoo. So you know where he comes from. So and still no dry bar. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you writing this Amazing. down for me? Amazing. So, <laughs> Amazing. Magic underwear. Magic draw. Throwing so the whole dice. time that I was Magic listening panties. to Coast to Coast AM, and it would come on in the middle of the night, and I owned a janitorial company. And so I was up all fucking night with that shit, just alone with my thoughts in my magic underwear, <laughs> <laughs> walking around in, in Alaska. And so I believed in all that fucking shit. <laughs> if, if I had that list of traits attached to me, I'd believe that too. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. amazing. Oh so if I came across a, a, a ship full of aliens, and I've imagined myself in this scenario many times. <laughs> <laughs> What's the ship look like? It's like egg-shaped. You know? Of course. Th- like the flight of the navigator? Yeah, like the flight of the navigator. I exactly. Know. It's just like the perfect, you know, you can be shit out of the mothership anyway. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. But it's like a Hershey's kiss sideways. Sideways Hershey kiss. And so okay. I always imagine a moment like this. You know, the cockpit's open and they, they're dying with their last dying breath. They're like, you know, we've got, you know, we've came all this way just to give this to you. Here's what we want to give you. And they hand me a box and inside of it is a video cassette full of Mormon knee porn. <laughs> 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 what is 
<laughs> and with their dying, and with their dying breath, they say, "Swing away, yam boy." <laughs> It almost sounded like he said Mormon. Go, 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 Listen to me. Boo, 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 if boo. Swing Away Yam Boy isn't the title of a punk album. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Swing Away Yam Boy. That's a. That's that's yeah. very. <laughs> stay gold, Pony Boy. That's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Came all this way. Ah, to yet to get to get there. Wow. <laughs> That's love. That is love. another level of something. Yeah. Indeed. You guys are fun. Let's uh let's do this. Let's stay let's go to segment five and oh, let's okay. stay a little I'm trying to cut to the uh topics right now. Uh I love you. Da, 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 da. Stop everybody jamming on Rob. Uh magic underwear. Yes, he is Mormon. <laughs> See? <laughs> Episode six, you're on top of it. That's what I like to think. All right, here we go. Funny. Who's jamming on Rob? What are they It's oh it's just chatty people. They're just talking. It's Word. all good. Um in the Twitch. You guys can follow. We want you to follow us. Uh if you're gonna do this anywhere at all. Do it on YouTube. Just go to the Whiskey Brothers, click the uh, subscribe button, and then if you turn on the little bell, it lets you know when every one of these episodes comes out. It's very, very, very cool. Uh, plus, your chance to play along. That prompt was earlier. Let's get into Around the World. These are all the last three stories. We have three of them. Uh -oh. What order do I want to go in? We're going to start with this one uh, because we were just talking Alien Worlds. This happened. Uh, the hunt for moons outside our solar system just turned up another world. It's bigger than Earth. It's orbiting a Jupiter-like planet. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's pretty alien, actually. They're not sure if it's rocky. They don't know if it's gaseous, but it's, it's somewhere between the size of Neptune and Earth, which probably makes it rocky. Uh, any thoughts about these sorts of worlds where, where we're starting, starting to discover uh, different atmospheres and different places and different mm -hmm. ecosystems? What could be out there aside from what you guys just discovered? So I was actually doing a bunch of research on this. Naturally. Because uh, you, can, you, can <laughs> you can buy stars and, mm -hmm. uh, and the, the, there's a fucking corporation bought the, the star that this moon and planet are around and the corporation is Denny's and they decided <laughs> to go, moon's over my hammy. <laughs> He did it. <laughs> there you go, Will. God damn it, Will. That's good. good job, that's strong. Corporate moons. <laughs> who else? Oh, now you've got my bright, my mind racing about who else would sponsor a moon. That's oh. not Pornhub. <laughs> uh, any, <laughs> uh, anybody else with thoughts on the moon? I got a thought. Uh -oh, one second. Of course you one second. One second. Before before Pornhub's uh, corporate corporate moon, it's in the uh, outer rim job. Ah, right. oh, uh, look at that. Ba 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 da ba. Wow. <laughs> Star horse. The first thing I noticed Star about these stories that they gave us is like the 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 sources were uh Fox News and NPR, <laughs> <laughs> which is the full spectrum of <laughs> rabid ideology <laughs> on the left and the right. So it's like, and like, and I, I loved one of the quotes from the Moon story. It said, "If you're familiar with your Avatar and Star Wars <laughs> <laughs> as a preamble for a scientific discussion about an, an, a new dis a Moon that they've discovered," what <laughs> did you want the actual scientific like, paper? Oh, oh, you're gonna quote Cameron and Lucas to me? Well, let me. Uh, let me oh, write. Thanks for bringing that down. For yeah. Me. <laughs> Let me get a pencil ready so I can. You can hit, hit gonna, me to your knowledge. We're gonna quote a couple of Sam Worthington uh, films as well. There's there's lots of <laughs> non-scientific. I know it's yeah. but. You can't. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Just talking about Fox and NPR. I just want to hear Garrett Garrison, Ke Grayson Keeler talk like Tucker Carlson. You know, <laughs> and I just can't believe <laughs> that the. The outrage for January. <laughs> I can't do it, Garrison Keeler. <laughs> but, uh, it's been a quiet week. You should have done, should have done it the other <laughs> way. It's been a quiet week. <laughs> Merle Krebsbach came down. To <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone at Lake Wobegon was invited. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had been strangling nurses down in Galveston. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to touch her back. <laughs> okay, Stacy. Oh uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm on that new moon that they found. I do not know what the hell's going on. I'm just looking and smiling. My ears hurt because I'm doing that little like what is that? That that the original politically correct smile. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, NPR. That doesn't mean no pussy ready. Okay. Uh, Keep on talking, Wilmington, huh? <laughs> All right. How about that halftime? Uh, <laughs> go. Go, Jay 
Black Fly, she killed it, right? Oh, okay. Just let me know when I can tap in. <laughs> <laughs> we got two other stories. Let's <laughs> let's go to the Fox News one, shall we? <laughs> oh. This guy ended up on a flight, a college student. Uh, oh, yeah. This all right, and then we only know this because of TikTok, where he <laughs> shared that, uh, which is a reliable source. Uh, but a peculiar incident uh, happened. Uh, he was on a plane, and he seemed to show himself the only member of the uh, the the the, pe- the passengers. He was it. He was it. They gave him a box of cookies and a bunch of other whatever he wanted. They did not, however, upgrade him to first class, <laughs> which is the most. If you've ever flown on a plane before, the food is there, bitch. Yeah. It is there. That is, they got X amount of cookies and X amount of chicken, and it, it's one way. Or it's it's, and they just were like, nah. Yeah. Uh, he said, I actually sat down. There was nobody at the gate. I was just staring at the receptionist. We were looking back and forth at each other for ten minutes. They said, well, we're ready to board. I thought I was on one of those reality TV shows. There were more pilots than passengers, uh, and then plenty of TikTok footage of him alone with his choice of seats um have, have any of you been in that situation before yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> no <Yeah>. no <laughs> no spirit is always packed <laughs> oh yeah that's that's spirit is uh, always packed. That, that plane could be empty and they would change you to charge that's seats. It. Yeah, exactly. they're 35 dollars nope can't do it buddy. that's i've been on empty i've been on empty ones before a fully empty you no i've been one? on i've been like one of 12 people I've on an on international those. flight yes, yes. I've been so on where you had literally a section to yourself yes so let's talk about the route. All right. Uh-huh. The, the the route was London to Orlando. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. what a route, right? <laughs> uh, like you know, like I so so what do you I, I think honestly my favorite international Why route. do you hate old people? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the two pilots just wanted to go bang some strippers or like ex like Disney actors out there, you know? They're like, fuck it. Let's light it up in the sky. I just thought of uh, my my favorite international direct <laughs> flights are uh, Memphis to Kandahar, um, uh, and uh, and uh, London to Paris, and it's actually London, Ontario to Paris, Texas. Oh, so, yeah. that's that's yeah, just, that's fantastic. Sh- I like OKC to Mogadishu. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. we're <laughs> yeah, no, woo. Like, ah, man, all right. What a fucking nerd! Who goes London to Orlando? All right, really, like, like, let's, let's, let, let, let uh, oh, I'm next to Big Ben, then. I better go see Jafar. And like, what are you, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> the, the grass is always greener, Will. Yeah. That's it's, where Harry Potter world is. Uh, that's a, yes, exactly. <laughs> he went from London. He went from actually he Harry from, Potter land to yeah. go see Harry Potter world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, he went from actual King's Landing uh, yeah. to, 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 to a, a grocery cart stuck in a wall. Right, right. <laughs> They're all invisible. I, I just came from there. It's pretty top. Not so you went London to London di- or Orlando? Oh, no, Orlando. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not London. Diagon Alley. Yeah, oh, yeah, man, it was yeah. awesome. Was it awesome? Like the ride, the new Harry Potter ride. Yeah, they, you do the sidecar, the motorcycle and the sidecar. I had to do the sidecar, you know, uh-huh. thing was on a motorcycle. That shit, and then they dropped you down to a whole nother. You still was judging hot. these people for coming to Orlando? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, absolutely. Oh for that I'm, testimonial? We better over here. I lived in Orlando. Oh, I'm sorry. And some guy came up to me and said, hey, can you keep a secret? And I was like, yeah. And then uh, he was like, fuck, I can't get through this underwear. <laughs> and it turns out I can't keep a secret. So they put me in witness protection and I ended up in Alaska for 13 years. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, and I've never that. been back to fucking Orlando. I'll That's tell you that. Wow, you was punished. So, yeah. So they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> <in Orlando. laughs> like, where were they when they when I needed them the most? <laughs> but I looked up how much money it costs. <laughs> For for the gas, it's twenty seven thousand dollars <laughs> in gas one way from to fly that London guy? to Orlando. So on an eight hundred dollar ticket, and they think with the ground crew and the pilots and the wear and tear on the it might have been a hundred and fifty thousand dollars for that one ride. Yeah. You could I don't know how else you could get him there, but for a hundred, I'll stay if you give me a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Dude, that's a I would have stayed for. I mean, now granted, they still probably got to get the plane back, but sure, I'll swim you there. 
for half of that. Cubans Bargain do with it him. All Say, I'll give you time. ten grand if we can just if you'll go tomorrow. <laughs> Y'all's thoughts are amazing. Like when I seen this segment and I I read it and I seen first thing I thought was this is a white dude. That's the first thing. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. And then he's complaining, motherfucker, you on the plane. I want to be up there. What's the difference? You are a fucking brat, bro. Like yeah. go to sleep. Why are you Put awake? Put the armrests up <laughs> and chill and the let fuck him, out. Let your little legs You've hang never... off the side. I bet he was a midget. And then he's like, oh, you know, I'm awake. I didn't take a volume. This is eight hours. I'm a document the whole time. Click, click, Dude, click, close click. it. Yeah, close close the curtains and then like, yeah, like join the Mile High Club by yourself. Right? Right. Oh, yeah. my God. So, dude, I would J off so many times on that plane by myself. Oh, my God. Storm that's the cockpit. <laughs> oh. You're, that's when they least suspect you. That's it. No one's going to see that no, coming. I think they'll let you fly just, part of that route. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here he comes. Dude, just say, just, Especially if your cock yeah, is yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got your cock out, storm the cockpit. Ain't nobody going to stop you, It's player. called a cockpit. That's it. It's literally it's a right there. Of cocks. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, I ate all the snacks. I'm like, are you fat, What too? a dick move. Yeah, that, that was is, stupid. That's that is a, definitely a white perspective. It's like, I was on a plane by myself. Most people would be like, fuck yeah, that's dope. Exactly. And this guy was The like, first flight, you've never, no crying kids at yeah. all. Oh God, You're not God, celebrating yeah. this. You're crying bitching kid. about the amount of biscotti they gave you. I love biscotti. Oh, they're so good. They're it's delicious. like it's like coffee, cinnamon, oh, happiness. Yes, yeah. you gotta <laughs> dip it in a warm drink and let it oh, melt. You could scoff. probably talk Biscoff. them into doing barrel rolls. If it's oh, just he you. could have, he could have. Invert this bitch. It wouldn't take that much, too. It'd be like, Come on, dude. Yeah, come <laughs> like, on, <bro. laughs> I dare What's you. What's going to happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll film dude, it. Say, say, I'll film say it I brought you. a box. I smuggled a box cutter on or something. <laughs> That's, like, I yeah. think at that point you're at least allowed to open your duty free alcohol. <laughs> like, there's. <laughs> who? <laughs> No one's doing sir, duty. No one's sir. doing nothing. Hey, guys, I'm not driving your dick. Can I brown bag in the front? Sir, uh, y'all, y'all, <laughs> clearly, you let me get myself off on the 37th row. Can I not drink my whiskey? This is a weird set of rules you have. Okay. Yeah. One more segment. Are you ready? One more segment. One more story. Uh, Jerry Wayne, you and Trey good back there? <laughs> yeah, you clearly have thoughts. I'm going to go back and listen to them after this episode's over because I can hear them. Uh, <laughs> What did I miss? Anything important? Clearly not, but it's funnier than us. <laughs> yeah, fucks. Uh, Jerry Wayne Longmire, Trey Tutson, good friends. He's cute. Uh, he looks like a sheriff, like those little angels. That you he see does. He looks like he might have shot you for Valentine's Day. <laughs> yes, butt naked. But the wings would have protested. <laughs> It's because I don't know y'all what y'all were saying back there, but I had a feeling it was about me. So I, damn it. Okay, then I apologize for the shot. Uh, yeah, one part was. So there you are. I feel I feel vindicated. Uh, I was gonna say vindified. <laughs> My, my grandmother Vindified. had a figurine of him pushing a wheelbarrow in her rose garden. <laughs> oh, that's cute. The Hubbles, the little hu- yeah, the yeah, of Jerry Wayne. It's not fair. He doesn't have a microphone to defend himself, and <laughs> none of you are me. So listen. <laughs> Here's our last story. This is uh, in the Netherlands, normally a calm and peaceful people. Uh, It's not exactly smooth sailing there. In Rotterdam, uh, a city I like a lot, a port city, uh, locals are voicing their objection to a plan that will temporarily dismantle an historic bridge to allow the passage of a record-breaking yacht reportedly owned by former Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos. Uh, They're already making plans. It's going to happen sometime this year. Some 13,000 people are interested and 4,000 have said they'll attend a Facebook event titled Throwing Eggs at Super Yacht Jeff Bezos. It's been shared over a thousand times. People are planning to meet at the port city and throw eggs at the ship as it passes underneath the dismantled bridge. (laughs) What a way to handle things. Uh, Thoughts? Uh. What's he got? So oh. first off, Jay Beasy is snapping his knuckles, and he goes, "You try to egg my yacht, and I will break you faster than the strikers at my fucking company." That's oh hot. Uh, and uh, also, also, when you say that the Netherlands is a very peaceful face, they still do blackface on Christmas. Like they have <laughs> big parades, like out oh. there doing that shit. What? And so, like, yeah, yeah, straight up. Or <laughs> like, oh. like, like they're like all on boats. I think they should go. They can't do purple yeah. Face. <laughs> I mean, damn, that's other dark. Colors. That's so. Wait, what did you say? They can't do purple face. There's other. That dark sounds colors. more racist. That's it. You know, there is no purple. There's, I've never seen a melanated person that is a shade Actually of purple. purple. No, but like black is brown, and I've seen dark. All dark, the black. different variants. Yes. Purple is the purple, if, I've never seen us. You don't see blues and purples. You don't see a lot of food or people. Mm-mm. 
you that's know, just a dodgy skin all, color that you don't see a lot of. That's interesting. Yeah. That's, that's, let's, that's a, that's a, we should write a letter to should. the mayor, yeah. perhaps, of, of Rotterdam about it. blue or purple They sound face. shitty. Netherlands, <laughs> like netherworld. Rotter. <laughs> rot, Rotter. Rot, oh. yeah. Also, have you seen the bridge? It looks like an erector set. All right? <laughs> so, like, I, like it's, it's not a good-looking bridge. I understand, like, historical stuff. And they're like, oh, yes, the Dutch boy and, and the dike or whatever. <laughs> which, and, like, you Right, know, their architecture is not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's held together yeah, by yeah, children. Yeah, 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 appendages. Yeah. <laughs> it's not exactly. They're not architects. That's yeah. not who I'm bringing in to reinforce New Orleans. Right. Yeah. I trust the Army Corps of Engineers before I trust yeah. Dutch. A fat boy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah trying to finger fuck. A statue. Uh, <laughs> not finger Sticking his finger in a pie. Yeah. <laughs> They're so angry. Steve. Dude, the Dutch have turned into such fucking pussies. It's ridiculous. <laughs> this is what happens when you stop spanking your Vikings, basically. <laughs> Couple hundred years, and they're like. You know what we'll do? <laughs> we'll get a bunch of eggs. Exactly. <laughs> and then we'll tell Jeff Bezos yeah. to suck on them. We'll show him. <laughs> Wait, I'm mad at both of your Dutch accents. These are wildly accurate. That's, oh. Those weren't half-assed Germans. You didn't limp in here with some adjacent shit. You nailed it. You put some umlauts and double O's, and you just over-the-topped it yeah. with yeah. some other vowels, and I'm with you. Maybe. I don't know what any of uh, that means. Don't hell? fuck around. Yes, yes. You think I? But I agree with you. <laughs> Wait, that do you? That is the wackest fucking thing. Yeah. I'm so upset. I'm gonna throw what I spent my money on, like some <laughs> eggs, some food, sustenance. When people are hungry around here, starving. What's, what's wrong with rocks? Like throw rocks. Dude, like, these used to be the yes. Vikings. Yeah. They would. They, they, they. You know, a couple hundred years ago, if you got four thousand of them together, they would burn down whatever they were partying in. Yeah. Back in the day. I'm starting you know? to question. Dude, they history. were they were mercenaries uh, for yeah. the Byzantine Empire, and they were known as the the emperor's wine bags. So they would just get drunk and fuck shit up. And now they're like, and now sometimes I take uh, mushrooms for my depression. Yeah. Like <laughs> and their dork. plan is eggs. Like Jeff Bezos isn't just going to outfit the side of his yacht with skillets and sell them on HelloFresh. Exactly. They're just going to land there, fry, and get shipped and right back out money. to other people exactly. for $28. Well, because it won't hurt the fish. <laughs> <laughs> He's got, he's got little Mexican children dropping there Himalayan salt on it for no dollars an hour. He's eating it, too. Jesus. Oh, my God. The he world. looks like the Crypt Keeper before he got really sick. <laughs> he, he looks no, like the, the Crypt Keeper the, before he died. Before he died. Ah! Before he died, lost all his little Pre ghost. That's <laughs> Before he got to that, I was like, oh my gosh. And they're going to throw eggs. His head looks like an egg. That's That's <laughs> his, his, I think he created this I would, pay, this I would put frowny faces on the eggs. <laughs> Daisy saving all the hate up for the end. Uh, you guys, where can they find you? We have to wrap this episode up. It's been a blast. And uh, we are now three for three on uh, best of episodes. The All-Stars have shown. You guys are all online. I know you're gunsandliquor.com. Yep, Ooh. you can find all my dates on gunsandliquor.com. Uh, do you uh, have a clothing line where they can buy that shirt? The Sears catalog. <laughs> from 1987 <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, yeah so yeah you can find me on uh, William Lynn Loden Jr. on Facebook and Will underscore Loden on Instagram thank y'all so much perfect hey. and you have uh, Silly Hats coming out with Nick Palermo on our network mm. soon uh, where to find you Steve I'm almost nowhere now yeah, you can find me on Instagram sometimes but I am uh, I'm getting ready to launch a podcast we're building a studio right now and so there'll be news on that soon outstanding we'll be sure to tell people when it comes out uh, you're a very funny person I have no doubt that you will host it well Stacy you what hey. are you up to where, where well, can they find you first right now I'm very jealous um, I can if I was to judge a book by cover I would not know that y'all had so much shit going for yourselves. I just want to <laughs> y'all are definitely hiding behind Man, that's the a veil. bold shit to say after <laughs> they've both answered. I, uh. I know. That's exactly what I was like. What this motherfucker got a website? You got a fucking studio? I'm trying to get an apartment. Um, <laughs> you can, right now I'm living on Instagram and that's Facebook. That's what's inside of the thought that's bubble that's uncompleted. That's yep. How, where can I live? <laughs> so <laughs> you can find me on Instagram, laugh with Stacy. Spell it correctly, okay? S T A C Y. And you can find me on Facebook, Stacy Anderson. You know, you can find me there. Uh, I'll be doing a showcase of Bob Sumner, who started Def Jam. Of course. Yeah, he's doing a showcase this Friday at the Comedy Lounge over there off of 19 FM 1960 or mm -hmm. something like that and then I do my own showcase once a month in Sugarland at the Lounge at 6 so I like to bring people in I got an open mic the first hour and then I you know I I build Look people. at that. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. trying, man. Bring wow. some funny to the land of sugar. Judging books by their cover, <laughs> these two thought you didn't have that much going on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
surprise. That's a lot. Uh, you guys are all fantastic contestants. Uh, please come back and join the show. You're doing another episode on this season, so everybody's doing two. Uh, Will Loden, Stacey Woo. Anderson, and Steve Cantwell, uh, all exceptional guests. Uh, be sure to ring in with your answers to the prompts. You've been caught taking boards or off your neighbor's fence. You're dismantling the fence. They catch you, and we want to know what your excuse is. Leave it in the comments. Hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get to 1,000 before episode 1,000. That's coming up at the beginning of March. Thank you guys so much for being here. Jerry Wayne Longmire, Trey Tutson. Awesome as always. Did we give them a prompt for next week? That was it, right? We're done. We got all the stuff done, all the things we need to talk about. Perfect. See you on another episode soon.